Hello and welcome to part one of my video tutorial series. Today we'll be learning how to texture using the GLSL method and a couple of tips and tricks in the game engine. Now today we're starting with texturing and we're going to be using the GLSL method of te texturing which is using advanced shaders so in order to enable that we're going to want to hit N which adds this toolbar and we're going to want to find the tab for display which is right here and we're going to want to change the shading from multi texture to GLSL and we're also going to want to change the shading from solid to textured so the textures will actually show up so uh, textures are formed from materials which you can only have one material per face and each material has textures which are actual physical images and you can have each material can have multiple textures so let's this one already has a material created which you just click new go with now that we have this material we can create textures that are associated with it now so let's go ahead and do that so click new, create, uh, where it says clouds, change that to image or movie. These are just procedural texture types that Blender can do, but they don't work in the game engine yet. And go ahead and let's open an image. This is just a, the images I've collected from the internet and such. So let's, let's do this one. I like boxes. Now you see it's kind of messed up, and that's because it's, we have to tell it how to display on the 3D object. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a UV layout for this object. So let's, down here, this opens up different types of panels you can use in Blender. So let's open the UV image editor. So enter edit mode which is with tab, hit U, which gives you the UV mapping, mapping options, and just hit unwrap for now. That will simply, basically each face is represented as a single flat texture here. Here's a better example of what it could also look like, but this will work for our purposes for now. And it still hasn't changed, but that's just because where it says coordinates, it's still using the old ones. So change it to UV and it will fix it. Now you see how it looks like that. That is because of the uh, uniform specularity. So next what we're going to do is we're going to add a normal map, which what a normal map does is it defines how the object reflects light. So let's go ahead and import one of those. And I have them stored in a separate folder to all the others. And it's this one. Let's open it. And now we're going to have to tell the game engine how to use that normal map. The new option here is we have a special normal map sampling and we also the influence tells it how that texture affects the look and feel of the object so make it so it does not affect the color however what we want it to to affect is the geometry now you see how it appears to be pseudo 3d and we can change how shiny it is by lowering the influence or in the geometry panel or by going back to the material panel and lowering the uh, overall specularity of the entire object. So that concludes this first tutorial on texturing. I hope you enjoyed it and I will be making more to cover th things such as uh, movement of an object with logic and also with Python. Uh, physics to make objects behave as they would in real life and lighting and all sorts of th stuff so uh, have a nice day